Hello, Sagittarians. How are you doing? Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate you. And I hope you had a great week. And I hope we start a an, an brand new great one again. Well, I'm picking uh, animal uh, spirit animals for each sign. And I picked one for you and I turn it and it was coyote. Wow, coyote is the trickster. So let's see what you have in the cup. In the cup, you talking with somebody, okay? You, you, you facing someone and you talking to them. Behind that person, there is a snake. Now, usually a snake is wisdom. I, I look at it as wisdom, as knowledge, as something that uh, you, you, you will be learning from. Oh my goodness, hold on, let me pick this card. It was on the floor. <laughs> okay. Um, there is a snake, there is a snake. And uh, the person that you meet in face to face, he's facing the snake. And he is uh, trying to keep the snake away from biting. Or maybe, I don't know what he is doing, uh, trying to uh, trick the snake, maybe with the hand on the snake head, um, probably he's trying to stop her from coming further. I don't know, but you're facing this person. All of a sudden, the universe open up and it dropped the glasses. Now, you're, the glasses that came down, the left side of the glasses, they weren't the same size as the right side. The left side, they kind of shrunk. They shrunk in size and it's like somebody added another lens in there, which is really interesting because at one point you you gave you 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 let go, you you were so much into your male energy that you let go of the feminine energy, the left energy. And this left energy left you very um this left energy left you very uh, uh, a needing to take care of yourself in a feminine way. If you are a woman, you need to think about, about uh, loving you and taking care of you and doing things for you that you don't you never did before. If you are a man and say your male energy is too strong, you focus too much about the providing and working hard. And, and the important part is the feminine side. You're not in balance. So I'm going to say, get in balance. Your family is important. Your wife, your girlfriend, your, your kids, you have to find balance so you can give everybody a little piece of you. And there is one little piece that you need to give to yourself. So working, working, working is not making it easy for you. Okay. In the middle of the cup. Oh my gosh. In the middle of the cup. This is beautiful though. It is not that it is bad. Um, you sitting on the ground, you sitting on the ground and you have like a shuffle, you cleaning thing, you digging on something, but above you, there is this big, huge, huge tree, big trunk, big, huge tree filled with birds, birds, birds all over and fruits. And it is beautiful. And uh, and, and you dig in the ground underneath. I'm not sure why you dig in the ground. You know, it's like the universe gave you those glasses to look deeper, to, to think about things in a different way, to look deeper, to, to really value and love yourself more. And here you are shuffling uh, under the tree. The tree trunk is big, a stick is a beautiful. The branches are big, flowers and a fruit on it. But above it, above it, there is a snake. Okay, above it, there is a snake. So 
as the snake is above the tree, it's hidden on top. It's a trying not to let the tree grow any further than that. So I have to tell you, your power is in yourself. Whatever is inside of you, it's going to come up. It's going to show up. And for this, uh, uh, this uh, snake in there trying to hurt you, well, guess what? you are much stronger than the snake. So you need to focus your energy, change it, you know, go to a little higher energy so the snake can leave on its own without you struggling to get her out of there. The coyote, you got the coyote, I can't believe it. When I was growing in Lebanon, we lived at the second floor of my grandparents. And what is interesting is, in the summertime, the coyotes at night, they will just uh, ooh, all night long. I don't know what it's called that in English, but anyway, it is, it's really interesting. Coyote is the eternal trickster. So in ancient traditions, coyote initiated the pranks and silliness. But when coyote comes to you, the message is, don't take yourself seriously. Despite his clowning, Coyote is immensely powerful and helps make things happen. When Coyote is involved, things happen in the way you least expect. So be careful. Just be careful. You get what you want, but don't expect to recognize it at first. So you're gonna ask, you will get what you want and you may not see it in the beginning. So don't give up right away, right? Um, coyote is a central figure of many First Nation stories. If coyote come to you, you will know it when suddenly a laugh erupts or you make a fool of yourself. This is, you know, so the coyote is the clown doctor make you laugh, the humor healer, the joker, the destroyer and creator. Coyote may trick you, may even turn your world upside down, but laugh with him and you will have heard your, his voice. Nice, huh? Okay, let's pick a card for you. Oh my, my. Can you see it? When I am in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. I love that. That's a beautiful. Okay, you guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for listening. I hope it meant something to you. Life is good. The tree is big and beautiful. Somebody trying not to let it to grow or maybe somebody doing the, trunk or the tr trick on you. And, and a coyote is one of them. So get familiar with the coyote. At the same time, get familiar with, with uh, life because you are at the a big change a big change is coming get ready for it okay okay you take care and i will see you next week take care